Hey, this is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and you notice that there isn't any, uh, there aren't any leaves on the trees anymore. And the footage you're about to see is back from June last summer. Me trying to replace our old VHF radio with a brand new one still hasn't happened. That's a spoiler alert. This is a at least a two-part, maybe a three-part series. So take a look at this, and you'll see why. Hey there friends, it's Jeff with Eternity Shore and today's project is going to be to try to figure out how to connect this standard Horizon Eclipse uh, GPS, it's GX1400, it's 25 watt VHF FM Marine transceiver. This has a GPS included. so. The good thing about this is I don't have to hook it up to my uh, Garmin, which my GPS is not very consistent. This has a built-in one. Here's what we have in this box. Um, unit is pretty small. This is uh, a little bit wider than the hole I have, and it's not as uh, deep. What i gotten rid of is the original radio on this boat, which no longer works. These wires right here all relate to connecting with GPS, uh, onboard GPS, which I don't need to do because this has a built-in GPS. This is the power. Here's the connector for the power. You see that there's a, a fuse, and uh, so we'll be able to figure out exactly uh, two issues. One is where to connect the power. Um, I'm not really sure, so I have to go ahead and look under and see where the best place would be uh, for that connection. And the second thing is right here is where you would connect the antenna. This would be great if it was just plug and play, but I will tell you and I want to show you that my antenna wire actually goes into a box and that box I think converts it or something because I can't even take that box out. It's so down under there. That box was related to my to the previous VHF radio, which I will put what that was here. I think it was a North Star um, something 100. Okay, and I will also show a picture of what I'm talking about. It had an external external speaker, which this does not. This has an internal one, which is fine. That one has an external speaker. And then uh, the mic is actually was connected to that external speaker. And then that external speaker was connected to the box, which then was connected to the antenna. So what I think I need to do is go by that box um, because the connection that comes out of that box does not resemble this at all. This is first attempt maintenance. Okay, so this is where the old speaker was and this connection with all these wires was actually the connection that was going to the hand held part so this is the other connection that was going into the speaker and i don't know how many pins that is there's a lot of pins and into a box that box is located behind this speaker so i'm going to take all that out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there is the box, the blue thing, and you can see NS100 down there somewhere. But that blue box, two cords coming out of it, I think one in the back. I need to see if the one that's coming from this direction in the back, if that one is just the antenna that will actually hook up, hook into the, the radio and be able to provide an antenna so I gotta check it now I successfully was able to take the antenna cord out of the back of that box and here's what I'm looking at right here it does not look good does it looks like it's burnt or something but this is the first key and let's go see how we can get power can I get power from right here underneath the helm it's nice to be able to remove an old wire that you no longer need from a 
almost 20 year old boat because what happens is people add stuff and they never take anything away which is why you end up with so many wires all the time but um, this can be thrown away hooray All right, so I think I'm just gonna got a couple of different free places to hook this up, and I have I think I have a 10 amp fuse. Now, if you saw my video where I told you how much I hate wires when I was putting together the when we we're um, hooking up the stereo Bluetooth stereo, so you can take a look at that video. I'll I'll put a link in the description. On that video uh, where I said I hated wires, a bunch of you commented the problem is uh, this crappy vice grip, worthless crimp tool. So I ordered from Amazon some more butt connectors. Now, I can't even get it out, it's just so manly. And now I got this tool. It's very scary, it looks like it just wants to eat me it's gonna hurt me so we'll test that out right now when we make these connections okay in terms of the VHF radio I mentioned before this particular connection looked faulty and sure enough um, uh, I think there's a short here so if I use my multimeter so the multimeter when you when you have it on this um, setting here the little wavy stuff if you put these two together so there should be a separation there should not be a short between this outer shell and this inner connection there is a short because those are connected somehow they're not supposed to be so I think the options at this point are going to be to replace the just the cable um, which I don't know if you can do just to replace the cable uh, or I cut further down on the cable and I try to find uh, try to re put this puppy back on so either try to repurpose the cord and I don't even know if there's a sh there might be a short up there too so I have to check that uh, or buy a new antenna but I'm gonna have to put this one on the new one anyway which seems to be a pain in the butt so I kind of run into a snag uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, prepare the wires for the radio assuming at some point I'll be able to use the radio with an an a functioning antenna Okay, um, so I think what I'm going to do is maybe fold this over and shove it in if I can. Alright, this is my first time using the crimp tool and I'm going to go with 16, 14, I'm gonna go with the blue. Let me show you this way. Hooray. This is a connection. So let's go find a place to put it. So I have the positive there, and then the negative is up there. Let's see what happens. Okay. I have not tried to turn this on, obviously. But, uh, this looks like power here. All right. Stop alarm. 
Warning, radio will not transmit any DSC calls until own MMSI entered. So I need to get my own MMSI. In terms of GPS, looks like it has my coordinates right there. So this looks like this is uh, correct. Now, I don't think the antenna is gonna work. All right, let's see. It's still here. There's nothing coming in. All right, so I have power coming in. The issue is going to be getting an antenna that works. Okay, I hope that wasn't uh, super frustrating for you. Part two is gonna be all about antenna. Maybe between this part and part two, we'll throw up a different video that's uh, a little more happy. Take care. Ciao.